This is example 2.7 on page 76 of our textbook. It's asking us to calculate the amount of carbon in moles contained in a 0.0265 gram pencil lead. And the reason lead is in quotation marks is because pretty much any pencil um, that says it's pencil lead is actually just graphite, which is a form of carbon. So this is an example of converting between mass and amount, and in this case, it's number of moles. So first off, we're gonna start with what we're given. We're given our 0 0.0265 grams of pencil lead, aka carbon, and we want to find the number of moles of carbon contained in that amount. So unlike the previous example 2.6, we're not going from moles to particles or atoms, so we're not going to be using Avogadro's number. We're going to be using a concept called molar mass. So if you consult a periodic table, hopefully you have one of those handy, Remember how we talked about the numbers at the bottom of the element boxes? So below an element symbol, there's a number. It's the atomic mass, but it's also the molar mass. So these masses are basically the amount of each element in grams contained in one mole. So mass in grams per one mole. So for instance, carbon, which is the element we're looking at, has a molar mass of 12.01. And there's no units on the periodic table, but it's an understanded, understanded, wow, understood unit of grams per mole grams per mole. So this gram number, that's 12.01 grams per one mole. And we don't write that one because it's kind of understood. So this number you get from the periodic table and for molar mass purposes it has units of grams per mole. So the number on the periodic table goes with the grams and mole doesn't have a number in front of it, it's an understood one. So in this problem, we're looking for moles of carbon. We have grams of carbon, 0 0.0265 grams carbon. And we're going to convert between grams and moles by using molar mass. So the molar mass, you can write 12.01 grams per one mole, or you could technically write it, one mole contains 12.01 grams. Just depends on what you're trying to cancel in your problem. So in this case, we wanna cancel out grams and get to moles, so we're gonna use this version right here. So grams goes on the bottom, 12.01 grams of carbon in one mole carbon. And I'm just writing carbon just to make sure that I label it. Um, when we get to more complex calculations, uh, you might wanna make sure that you label it with what element it's referring to. So grams of carbon cancel. Remember what we wanna cancel goes diagonal and will be left in moles of carbon. So you're gonna do 0 0.0265 times one, which is gonna give you the same number, and then you're gonna have that and divide it by 12.01. So it's basically 0 0.0265 grams divided by 12.01 grams. So if you divide these two numbers, you should get 0. 0, 0, 
moles of carbon. Um, and if you want to write this in more fancy terms, in terms of scientific notation, um, actually it should be 0 0.002206 and for rounding purposes, we have three sig figs here, so it would be 0 0.00221, or in scientific notation, 2.21 times 10 to the 1, 2, negative 3 moles of carbon. And that is your final answer.